Okay, let's do this. Make sure your language is set to Python and import Pymax and runtime from Pymax as MXS. Define the execute function to write the process more clearly. Here we define the first object in the selection list as our target object and the grid object as our drawing plane. Then we want to create a vector from the target object to the perspective view. We can access the perspective position by using the getTM function. So I subtract the position of the perspective from the target position. Define the length of the target and divide it by 2. First I find the min and max position of the target and then subtract them to get another vector and find its length by length function in max script. And now I normalize the vector and create new one with an up vector which is z axis. I create a new transform with the matrix strip function based on the vector values and position of the target. And now I want to move the grid across the vector until it goes out of the target shape. If we were using max script, we could just add the vector to the position of the target. But in Python, we need to edit the position of transform and then assign it back to the grid. Let's run this code and see how it works. We have an issue here. The grid is not looking at us. So I change the order of axis in our transform definition from x, y, z to z, y, x. Okay, so we have our target and grid. Let's activate the grid. First, I enable the start object creation function to let the user draw freehand spill lines and assign them to a variable called curves. Also, I want to wait until the user finishes his process, so I enable the return new nodes keyboard argument. Let me run this. It's okay, but uh, I want my SP lines to have a straight segment, not curves, so I define a method before start creation to set the type of my SP lines. Now I use this method in the start object creation as a new node callback argument. Now we have our SP lines. Let's define some modifiers and set their parameters. I use the extrude, quadify mesh, and noise modifiers. The amount of the extrude modifier is our distance multiplied by 2. Apply the modifiers to the curves. Let's define our cutter and stock object. I use procutter function to fracture the target. If we run this without any object in our selection list, it raises an error. So let's make a condition. Now we can say if there is not an object in the selection list, print something like please select an object. When you cut an object, the pivot of the pieces will change. So I add this line of code to change the pivot to the center of the target. Let's deactivate and delete the grid. To avoid the drawing mistakes, I enable isometric view before start object creation and enable the perspective view after the process. And let's test it on a more complex object.